and the key line that we came out with was the key 200.4. And actually, at the time of release, it was the key 180.4. That's right. So it made a little bit less power, like five watts less per channel than it does now. And uh, we had to make a few changes to it besides that, like uh, adjusting for the sensitivity of the microphone, I think. But um, it was pretty revolutionary when it came out. There weren't a lot of people Actually, I don't know if there was anybody in the car stereo realm that was doing that whenever we came out with it. I know it had been a thing in home audio to tune a room yes. using a microphone, yes. but uh, it hadn't been implemented in cars yet, as far as I know. But uh, essentially what that amplifier does is you hook up a microphone to it and set it on uh, top of the headrest, or take your headrest out and put it on top of the seat, and you want to adjust that to wherever like the driver's listening position is, wherever your head would be while you're driving. So you'll lean it forward, lean it backward, whatever you have to do. But um, what you're gonna do is, once you have that microphone in place, you'll play some pink noise through the radio. And the pink noise is what the amplifier uses to uh, make all of its adjustments. So what it's doing is listening with this microphone to the um, acoustic profile of the vehicle. So it'll listen to the equalization curve, uh, how the, the shape of the vehicle affects the sound that you're playing through the speakers, and also it listens to the equalization that's present from the factory radio. So once it gets a reading of all the speakers, it plays like some clicks and beeps and pops and gets like the distance of each speaker from the microphone so that it can add time delay to the system as well as factory equalization. So it's a pretty powerful tool with lots of processing built in. And uh, it also has the capability to buy amp speakers. So if you had something like these KSMT Snowman pods, where you can clock them and turn them around, you can have the um, two and three quarter on the rear channels and the tweeter on the front channel. And the amplifier will add its own crossovers to the audio system.